last thing on. Hey, Miss Potts. If you find this recording, don't feel bad about this. Part of the journey is the end. Just for the record, being adrift in space with zero promise of rescue is more fun than it sounds. Food and water ran out four days ago. Oxygen will run out tomorrow morning. That'll be it. When I drift off, I'll dream about you. Dream about General Johnston and his YouTube channel. I always wondered if his Avengers Endgame theory was true. It's always you. What's going on guys? This is my Avengers Endgame video. It's sort of a reaction to the, the new trailer, but I'll be able to tell you in this video everything you need to know, not really, but what does this mean for Avengers Endgame? This is the first trailer right here, and I put some music over it and my voice, because I'm not going to go over all of the easter eggs and just analyze the entire video. This video is just simply... What is most significant about these trailers? The most important thing you need to know going into Avengers Endgame. First thing you need to know is Ant-Man's gonna save the day. He's gonna beat Thanos single-handedly. End of story. Well, probably that's probably not, but that actually it's probably gonna be Captain Marvel. She's gonna be the Mary Sue. She's gonna come in and you know just save the day. Hopefully that doesn't happen, but we'll see. Best part of the trailer right here, Ant-Man shows up, and, you know, he's the best. So let me show you the video of the new trailer that came out during the Super Bowl and what it reveals about Avengers Endgame. So as you can see right here, it looks like, you know, this is a little bit after everyone's gone because he's in a meeting just like you know, war vets when they have PTSD or something, they get around the circle and talk about it. You can see him going outside, looking up in the air, see Ant-Man suit up right there, Thor, you know, Thor even looks like, I have a theory, Thor is actually on Titan. You know, right here you can see where a spot's missing, where they Photoshop uh, out Hulk and, and all that. Um, you know, at the beginning of the trailer, it looks, it's a short trailer, but the beginning of the trailer looks like they picked up, you know, the ships and stuff. It shows people dealing with how half of everybody disappeared. So there they are looking up. You can tell that they photoshopped out Hulk. Um, I wonder what's going on with Hawkeye and why Cap's hands is shaking. You know, there's so many theories about what's going on. I think the biggest, my my biggest theory is they time travel. They time travel uh, using the quantum realm. Uh, Tony comes back. You know, he fixes. You know, he fixes stuff up. Maybe. Pepper Potts comes and rescues him. That probably happens. You know, all the leaked photos of her and the rescue armor. Um, he... More of the story. He comes back to Earth. Him... Ant-Man... Bruce Banner. They travel back in time to try to stop... The Infinity Stones... From getting in... Uh, to the hands of all the villains throughout the... Uh, all the MCU movies. And I, you know, I think that's a big possibility. Um, I think Cap's gonna die. You know, I think that either he's gonna die, or my what I want to happen is they take him back to you know the 1940s and just drop him off in that time, um, so he can just live out the rest of his life, and that's a way to kind of push him out of the MCU. You know, but really, what does this trailer mean? You could look up you know Easter egg videos, but what does this trailer mean? It means that they haven't showed too much. It means they haven't spoiled the movie yet, which is big. This movie's coming out in very, very soon, and when it's out, I'll make another video about why it's amazing. After this trailer, I'm not going to watch any other trailers. They didn't show too much. You know, they didn't show Hulk, which is fine. I, I don't, I don't want to 
Seahawk. I want to see in the movie how Bruce Banner gets over his problem of not being able to come become Hulk. Like, I don't want to see that in the trailer. I want to watch that in the movie. I think it was great everything they showed, like Cap in, in the in the group, um, little stuff of Thor and, and Rocket and, you know, everybody walking, another cool shot of Hawkeye, but no context. You don't know what's going on. You just know from the first trailer you see him as Ronin. Um, you know, in his little ninja costume. You show a little bit more of, of Tony and Nebula. I mean, they didn't spoil too much. You just see them working, and it, the shot was very reminiscent of the first Iron Man when he was in the cave uh, working on his uh, Mark One armor. Um, but what does this mean? It means that Endgame is going to be amazing. The best movie experience I've ever had was Avengers Infinity War seeing that movie. It's probably my favorite movie just because of the experience I have in the theater. So, this, these two trailers just mean that Avengers, they're doing it right this time. You know, I'm not too excited about Captain Marvel, but the trailers, you know, they look good. But the Endgame trailers, it's getting me excited enough, but not ruining anything at the same time. So, I just, I cannot wait. I think that them showing all this footage just means that this movie is going to be absolutely amazing. And hopefully it didn't spoil too much. And, you know, if there's any Easter eggs you think are cool, just let me know. Or let me know how this video did not meet your expectations. So, leave a like or dislike. And subscribe if you want. And I'll see you guys later.